in a child projects information radiators are highly visible display techniques used to track the status of the project an information radiator can be in the form of a chart summaries and graphs related to the project some of the example of information radiators are burn up charts burn down charts trend chart for velocity story maps or product road maps in this video our focus would be on burn down and burn up charts burn down and burn up charts help in tracking the progress of the project they also help in forecasting when the project or release within the project would be completed the burn down charts show the estimated effort remaining on the project whereas burn up charts show what has been accomplished so far this means as more work is completed a burn down chart will show a progress indicator moving downwards to indicate the reduced amount of work remaining whereas the progress indicator on a burn up chart will move upward to show the amount of work accomplished now what you have in front of you right now is a sample burn down chart now if you look at uh, the sample burn down chart which is there in front of you carefully the y axis on the burn down chart represents the scope of project in story points you can also take story points in man hours the x axis represents the number of iterations within a release in this diagram the blue line depicts the plan burn down it shows how the 100 story points that represents the total scope of work burn across various iterations as per the plan 20 story points worth of work will be completed every iteration and all the 100 story points will be completed in five iterations now let's have a quick look at the actual burn down the actual burn down is represented by line red in color you might have noticed that during the first two iterations the actual burn down was less as compared to the planned burn down which indicates that we are we were lagging behind the plan during the first two iterations now during these two iterations if you had forecasted the completion time of the release you would have easily made out that release based on the current progress would be would take more than 5 iterations now as a result of forecast some corrective actions were taken and due to these corrective actions the project was finally back on track conceptually there is not a very big difference between burn up charts and the burn down charts the only difference is that instead of tracking how much work is left to be done on a burn up chart we track how much work we have completed so the curve in case of burn up chart goes up not down one major drawback of the burn down chart is that it doesn't show clearly the effect of scope change on a project if a customer adds work during the project the scope change would appear as negative progress by the development team on a burn down chart in comparison to this scope changes are immediately evident on burn up charts when new work is added 
the total work line which is usually flat and steady will clearly show the increase in the scope and total work as shown in the picture. Both burn up charts and burn down charts can be used on projects. There is no need to adhere to using only one. Burn up charts make more sense when focused on work across iterations while progress within a single sprint or iteration is often tracked with a simpler burn down chart. By separating progress and scope, burn up charts offer additional insight into scope variances.